Welcome back to HodgePodge. Today I'm in the practice space of Ethernauts. Guys, thank you so much for coming on to the show. It's thank really you. Thank you for having you. us. Thank you. How long have you been a band now? Five. Yeah, about six years. Yeah, six, three. seven years. I mean, it's all it's it's all like temporally like strange for sure. Like, we have no idea how long. Were there any lineup changes? Yeah, yeah, we've gone through some some cycles. Me and Jake have been in the band since, since the, the beginning, yeah. beginning of time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and uh, we're since the time immemorial. Yeah, we're we're the original founders and. Uh, Brian and Seth joined us like two, three years ago. About two and a half. Two and a half, two and a half. yeah. Well, I, was, I guess I was in the ballpark. Spencer just joined us uh, last year. And uh, yeah, and we're definitely more towards a progressive rock sort of angle. Yeah, we started but. out as like a weird, weird folk band. We had a violinist in the band for a while. Um, you know, and uh, we had a, a couple of, honestly, like all of the members of the band have been like friends who have been like very close to us. Um, you know, and it was, a, it was a couple of different weird influences and, you know, a, a lot of that still sort of bleeds over into like some of our, some of our current music, um, which is, which is cool. I kind of wish you guys had a violinist. That'd yeah. be pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, it was actually really interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. it was, you know, much different parts to write. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I do a lot of the writing in the band and that was definitely finding the right place for a violin, especially in a rock band. It's pretty difficult. I've I've seen it done before, uh, but it needs to be the first thing you think of when you're writing a song. It can't it can't be an afterthought, by any means. It's, it has to it has to be well thought out before you put it in there. It's a stage. It's a staging nightmare too. Like uh, you know, figuring out where it where it fits like in a live scenario is terrible. And the feedback, the feedback is awful. Yeah, so it, an acoustic it, it takes a lot you know? of practice to get it right. Yeah. But. Is it documented on some of your older albums? um a little not not yeah. not too much older stuff yeah like really old uh, yeah stuff. one of our oldest demos our, our first and second demo mm-hmm. you yeah. know because uh, we had to go through a few demos with it with the the sound changes and everything mm-hmm. but yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. can but. everyone introduce themselves for the camera yeah mm-hmm. i'm jake bear i'm the uh lyricist guitarist and vocalist i'm brian famlo i play keyboards and synthesizer uh, I'm Spencer Thorne, and I play drums and percussion. Seth Skinner, guitars. <laughs> I'm Wes Jones. I uh, play bass. I produce. And a uh, little bit of singing. Little, uh, some writing, too. So how does the writing work? Is that a mutual effort? Uh, well, we we mainly start with Guitar Pro. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a MIDI program where you can input. It's, it's a lot like uh, Sibelius or Finale, if you've heard of those, except more rock-oriented. Yeah, like tablature-oriented. Yeah, yeah. T- a tablature uh, in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, that way it's easy to just plug in numbers really quick, zeros and ones and fives, whatever you need. Mm-hmm. Um, and also you can do keyboards, you can do a drum kit, just uh, lot, lots of things just to get the, your ideas across. Um, and it helps, helps get raw ideas down in paper with other layers under it as well. Mm-hmm. And then we, we have a Dropbox so that we can, whenever we save something, everybody else in the band gets a notification on the, right on their screen. And uh, they can go in and look at the file if they have the program on their computer, and it's it's really convenient. Mm-hmm. And then uh, from there, we, we learn the parts, uh, do any adjustments that we need. Uh, Jake writes all the lyrics and uh yeah kind of i mean for this album it was it was definitely a mutual effort yes. in terms of lyric writing like there were a bunch of sessions where you know we all sat in the room and like this had, room you know specific. this room specifically this room. This is the room. and you know we all made sure that every single word was conveying the exact feeling that we all wanted to convey um you know mostly this is where the, the past, magic I've happens been, i've been writing uh the lyrics but you know now it's just sort of getting comfortable handing over the reins which is nice because you know these guys have a lot of really good ideas but yeah so you have a new album coming out very soon Mm. yeah yeah i mean it's it's soon in 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 the context that we haven't really decided on a date yet um but you know it's it's something that we've wanted to write and do for a really long time um you know it's uh we're a progressive rock band so it you know basically the only thing i'm comfortable telling you about it is that it's a it's a concept album about space you know which is like the pretty standard like yeah. progressive rock like pretty, uh pretty cliche at this point yeah. but uh sometimes it's just the it's just the right uh 
mode to to start with yeah uh as a first album you know it it's it should be a comfortable thing for mm-hmm. for us and any progressive music fan to get into our music mm-hmm. yeah who did you record that with uh i'm actually the producer um so over here on on my pc i'm running pro tools 12 and i i'm using some uh, art2 preamps uh through a focus right and uh get some really good sounds in here i have you know i have a little bit of uh acoustic treatment and um yeah you know with the couches and everything you get a pretty pretty balanced signal in this room uh so we're using a few different mics and we so far uh we have drums and bass all recorded uh tracking guitar right now so uh you know we're um, with all the scratch tracks and everything we're definitely pretty far along in the recording process i'd say probably two months time we're gonna be deciding on a, a, a final release date and everything once the the art is done the packaging is ready and everything how about a uh, album title mm, do we want to uh, might as well right? yeah i would say by the by the time this is out your i think your yeah, album will yeah. be long out yeah okay uh the album title is peerless love in the age of interstellar strip mining and uh <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's a concept album about um, about a, a man uh, who has spent his entire life preparing to go to space, um, and it just never comes to fruition. He just sort of uh, goes about living the standard American life, you know, has a family, uh, but his wife dies, and shortly after his wife dies, he gets the opportunity to go to space, um, and in a blind moment, he takes his son with him uh so and that's, that's all we're gonna that's say that's all we're gonna say yeah so that's the album <laughs> how much does your band name influence your music because i definitely get this sense of space is uh a key feature within the music uh yeah i mean i think we've always i think we've kind of always wanted to go for like a you know a spacey spooky vibe um you know we're we like to think that the name is straightforward in terms of like what you can expect from us you know, I, I mean whether we like it or not it's kind of what people expect from us in general with knots in the name it, it seems like astronaut from from the get-go mm-hmm. uh, it's not necessarily something that we wanted to do like 100 percent, like had to do uh but it definitely is fitting and yeah i think it's what people could come to expect with a name like ether knots yeah and so um, ether knot specifically means uh well, uh, I guess it's it's not really an actual word, but I, I suppose traveler through nothing or traveler through energy or, you know, any of the other myriad words that ether, you know, means, you know. It's up for interpretation. Well, like, uh... so a long time ago when people, uh, before people had really developed anesthetics, um, they used to refer to that as being ether as well. So in some ways we, like, you know, we could branch out and do an album that, you know the entire thing is a dream or like you know like nightmare. Uh, nightmare sequence or something of the yeah. sort um you know we we've sort of left ourselves more options by not calling ourselves like astronaut or you yeah. know cosmonaut or something yeah. of the, along those lines yeah. um you know we we've <clears throat> got a little bit more options as far as that goes uh could go the the whole norse mythology route because they believed in uh ether as the energy that binds the world together and yeah. uh you know physics major is a great asset to our band <laughs> yeah 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 I, stu- I studied physics for five years in college so uh you know i, I certainly helped with uh naming the titles of uh <laughs> the, the, this yeah. this album <laughs> more than anything else <laughs> making sure the concepts of each song weren't too outrageous yeah. but keep, keeping them in in frame Realistic, <laughs> for yeah. reality <laughs> Have you ever had a nightmare gig? I mean, I, we definitely have had definitely weird gigs, uh, but I never say I'd never say a nightmare gig, and I certainly would never name anyone. But you know, there have been a couple of really really sketchy places that we've been to that have been outrageous, like uh, selling like uh, Reuben pizza and 
just <laughs> obscure pizzas, like all kinds of weird pizzas. <laughs> and that actually sounds really good. I would, really I would kill. I've for never, a I've pizza. never been a fan. But. <laughs> I've like if, uh, if you if you knew where the pizza came from, then maybe. But you had no idea where this pizza came from. <laughs> but like gravel parking lots, uh, you know, yeah. I, you know, really sketchy. Middle places. of nowhere. Middle <laughs> full house, middle of nowhere. Yeah, even worse. Yeah. <laughs> like the show Full House. Like, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Out of nowhere, full house. <laughs> Everyone just comes in smiling. It's it's freaky. <laughs> <laughs> you have no reason to be this happy, sir. <laughs> it's like a laugh track. Ah, uh, you should have queued it up. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have our producer cue a laugh track for the? <laughs> Give me a sec. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay. What would you do it. would you say you had like a best gig? Oh man, I mean there are a lot of gigs that I would say are were our best gigs. Um, I think I think every time we play with a band that we're friends with yeah. is probably one of our best gigs because we just I feel like that's the most fun. Oni the, the Burning fun. Rivers uh, CD, CD release show yeah. that, was that was fantastic. I I cried. I was I was the dude standing in the audience like arms at my side, just mouth open like a turkey, waiting for rain, just tears. It was amazing. The yeah. Stacy White Suite was a lot of fun. Stacy White Suite at the Funkin' Waffles that was a lot mm-hmm. of fun, really fun. Uh, I mean, every local only festival is is great. Um, Playing with Cosmic C and uh, or not Cosmic C, um, Sound Discard. Sound Discard, yes. Yeah, oh, that was co- really the fun. Cosmic C guys in their new press. Yeah, yeah. yeah. more or less. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Co- uh, the dudes from Cosmic C, uh, which is now a discontinued uh, technical death metal band, they they've got a project called Sound Discard, which uh, plays around uh, Syracuse. But they're they're fantastic. But what's the furthest away from home that you have been? Just we went to Rochester once. Yeah, uh, we didn't go further than that, did <laughs> yeah. we? We had an offer to go to Vermont a couple of weeks ago, but we had to turn it down. Gas money concerns. Yeah. <laughs> and and lack, afraid that lack of uh, lack of, of easy transportation. We don't have like a, you know transportation. Yeah, we're we're using our own vehicles and yeah. It's you know terrified the wheels are okay. gonna fall off of Spencer's uh, Spencer's Explorer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have you ever had a weird interaction with a fan? Uh, there's this one dude uh, that roll, roves around Oswego called the Druid. Um. He's he's uh he's pretty sketchy. Uh, he would show up to shows that we were putting on out of uh, Zinc Screen Printing and Design, which was like a screen printing place, also a place that didn't really have any any business hosting music. Um, but I mean, not in a bad way. Just it was out of a out of, like in, in the middle of like a factory, off of a loading dock, and this dude, <laughs> this dude would show up to every Zinc show. He'd bring a thirty pack of Bush Light. And he would drink the whole thing to himself, watch him do it. And then he'd just stand in the middle, he would stand in the middle front row and he would just scream at us. Like the whole time, just heckling us. Like, I don't even need a microphone. Like just screaming at everyone in the band. Making full eye contact. That was weird. I wouldn't call that that guy a fan. That was the part I liked. It's the the full eye contact. Without that, without that, he'd be out of here. (laughs) So, yeah. I, I definitely, I mean, if we want to get specific, I, I wouldn't say that that guy was a fan. So technically speaking, that was not a weird interaction with a fan. But is this the kind of guy who's like uh, his father's like, no way are you gay, so he's gonna live with it the rest of his life? Definitely that guy. <laughs> Ex- explicitly that dude. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Their new album is coming out fall of 2017, Peerless Love. If you want to check it out, go grab it. All the links will be in the video description. They do it all: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter youtube every everything they just were telling me all uh reverb nation Bandcamp, mm-hmm. itunes thank you so much for watching as always all of the links will be in the video description below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up check out my other videos and subscribe all of the links will be in the uh man i always get nervous on it like this is my only part so <laughs> 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 Cuts through the laughter. That's actually. Funny. <laughs>